Well, it might be the most aggressive ball game in the sporting world, and it's played from a chair. Wheelchair rugby, or murder ball, is growing in popularity, and the timing could not be any better. Team Canada is embarking this week for the start of what will be a busy couple of months, a stretch the players hope will end with a shiny gold medal in London. If you've never watched a game of wheelchair rugby, it might catch you by surprise. So it's kind of like a mix between like bas basketball, hockey, and maybe handball. It's played four on four on a hardwood basketball court. To score, you have to cross the goal line. But to do that, you need to get to the goal line, which is easier said than done. It's full contact, which seems to get everyone excited. This is Team Canada, 12 of the best wheelchair rugby players from across the country. On Thursday, the squad will head to Richmond for the Canada Cup, a tune-up before the Paralympics in London. Ten years ago, Hollywood got its first glimpse inside the sport dubbed Murder Ball, the same name given to the Academy Award-nominated documentary. A, whole different aspect of being in a, wheelchair. a film following Team USA at the World Championships in 2002, the same year Canada won gold. It was Canada's only gold in the sport, something the team hopes to change. We're, we're like any other athlete. There's day, good and bad days, and to be the best, you've got to work extra hard on those bad days. It's tough to call any day bad for Team Canada's wheelchair rugby team. In 10 international events, the squad has medaled eight times, but still it wants another gold, a quest that could spark the sport's biggest rivalry. You know, whether we're playing hockey or football or basketball, I mean, wheelchair rugby, we definitely have that rivalry with uh, Team USA. So um, anytime we play them, we're, it's going to be a show. A show that begins in Richmond at the Canada Cup, and the team hopes finishes atop a podium in London.